So let's learn how to subtract by finding the difference. So by counting forwards from the number we're subtracting to the number we're subtracting from, we have 124 minus 85. So we can start on 85. Now, let's start by targeting the 10. So the next multiple of 10 after 85 is 90, and 5 more gets us to 90. Now, we can think how many more we need to get to 100. Adding another 10 gets us to 100. And from 100, it's easy to see what we need to add to get to 124. We need another 24. So to reach the number we were subtracting from, we had to add 5, then 10, then 24. But I'm going to write that in a slightly different order. So I've written 24 plus 5 plus 10. But remember, with addition, order doesn't matter. I'm still adding what we added on our number line. So that's 24, that's 5, and that's 10. So we can work out 29 plus 10, because 24 plus 5 gives us 29. And I'm adding 10 last, because adding 10 to a number is really easy. 29 plus 10 is 39. So let's recap what we did here. We worked out how many more to get to the next multiple of 10. Then we worked out how many more to get to 100. Then we worked out how many more to get to the number we were subtracting from. So adding these numbers gave us our answer. I chose to add 10 at the end because although I could have added 5 and 10 to get 15, then added 15 and 24 to get the answer of 39, working out 15 plus 24 is quite difficult, so I found it easier to add 24 and 5 first, and then add 10 to my answer. So now let's try 117 minus 79 using the same method. The next multiple of 10 from 79 is 80, and that's just one more. Now, what do we need to add to 80 to get 100? We need 20 more, because 80 plus 20 is 100. And now, what do we need to add to 100 to get 117? This one is easy. 100 plus 17 is 117. So now, we need to add 1, 20 and 17 to get our answer. I'm going to work out 17 plus 1 and then add 20 at the end. So let's do 18 plus, what, pl 18 plus 20 because 17 plus 1 is 18 and adding 20 is easy. 18 plus 20 is 38. So that's our answer. Now, how else could we have solved this? We could have started with 1 plus 20 to get 21, and then worked out 21 plus 17, and we would still have got our answer of 38. So it's up to you. You can either add up the numbers in the order they're written on the number line, or you can do what I do, and add the multiple of 10 at the middle number at the end. So pause the video and see if you can use the same method for 119 minus 68. From 68, we need two more to get to 70 to get to the next multiple of 10. Then, to get to 100 from 70, we need 30 more and from 100 to get to 119, we need 19 more. 
So we need to work out 2 plus 30 plus 19. But we might find it easier to do 19 plus 2 plus 30. So we can do 21 plus 30 because 19 plus 2 is 21. Now, 21 plus 30 is 51, so that's our answer. So pause the video again and try 127 minus 73. From 73, we need 7 more to get to 80, to get to the next multiple of 10. Then, to get to 100 from 80, we need 20 more. And from 100, to get to 127, we need 27 more. So we need to work out 7 plus 20 plus 27. But we might find it easier to do 27 plus 7 plus 20. So we can do 34 plus 20, because 27 plus 7 is 34. Now, 34 plus 20 is 54, so that's our answer.